Okay, so I was already going and I had to stop and start over again because it was just uh, like going and going and going and going. I was like, oh my God, it's so distracting. Uh, it was so weird on timing. And so I had to go put on Do Not Disturb. So I quit getting them because it was like, oh my gosh, that was driving me crazy. Anyways, um, so now I got to try and remember like what I was saying. <laughs> okay, so one of the things is... Um, this hair thing is so trippy because, you know, I do these videos and, it, and one thing too is so weird is because it was like back around 2016 is when I let my hair go just natural. And so I was already doing all this stuff. So like I'm already moved on to something different. And so all these ladies are just at that point now of embracing their gray and, you know, letting themselves embrace aging and all this stuff but now I have this new view of aging so when I see these people it always I just look at them so different especially like oh my gosh some of these that like dance around and like all this stuff with their hair and um I'm just like oh man I just look at it so different and it's so weird is like these people will come in and like, I, I don't know. A lot of people will come in the comments and they want to know everything. They want to get rid of their gray and feel younger and they see the benefit. There's another group that comes in and they are like defensive towards me. Some of them, this is, this is because there's like this two certain things that just trip me out. Like, I, like it's so weird. Oh, well, I really like it. I really like that gray around your face. That looks so pretty. Okay, so I guess I'll give up my health. <laughs> what? And so then uh, another one is these people who come in, oh, well, I love my gray. And I would never want to get rid of my gray. I just love it so much. I just did a video out of this one person. And it was like, I think you're missing the point. It's not about if it looks good or not. It is a sign that you have a mineral deficiency you start taking that mineral your hair changes colors like i just i i am so bewildered by the like i said it's 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 trippy when you talk to people and people's perspective and the way people see things and stuff and perceive and it's just like i i just don't understand it like i i are you not getting it or something like, you not, is it not sinking in? Like, it is a, your hair turning gray is a sign that your body is in a deficiency. Like, and then so we're going to argue if it's pretty or not. Like, and, and you just want to keep yours. Like, I'd rather look, I have this beautiful gray hair and have a mineral deficiency personally. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's so strange. I, I don't understand it at all. And I'm just glad it happened to me like regular. I mean, I mean, back before when I had heard, like the first time I'd heard something about the copper cups and I had heard um, people say, well, your hair changes, like your gray goes away. And I'd even said, well, I love my gray. I wouldn't want it to go away. But, um, but I thought, oh, well, it probably takes a long time anyways. I doubt it's like, you know, I sure didn't think it was gonna be like dramatic or something. And, um, and, and then I had already been using the cup. Anyways, I just didn't use it regularly. It's when I started using it every day. And at the same time, I had just gone on those other things. Because I guess there's a lot of people saying Celtic salt has a lot to do with it too. And, um, and this Amisa is like, what did I say? It was like 82 minerals or did I say 18 and they said it was 82? Or did they say there's 182? I'm horrible with numbers. So <laughs> numbers has been a problem since I got my brain injury. But I am developing more um, pathways because I'm remembering number groups. And I used to, I couldn't remember two numbers together. And um, so anyways, I'm doing better with that. But still, I'm not very good at repeating numbers. <laughs> So, anyways, there's a lot of minerals. And uh, somebody, I think, said it in the comments here. It could have been on TikTok, but I think it was on here. But, anyways, 
the um so it has a lot it has like phosphorus it has boron and it has um i i think it has selenium and it has um does somebody say iodine too i keep trying to see this one word uh, um see phosphorus and um i just saw the uh, list of them but anyways that was a bunch of um minerals that uh your body needs because then if you go watch that lady um barbara o'neill or beverly o'neill or whatever her name is that holistic lady the, that knows all about all that holistic stuff she um she uh had said man i'm getting distracted she had said uh about the minerals and she, she was the one who I'd even seen talking about the bones aren't really made of calcium. They're made of these other minerals. And so what you need to do, replace the minerals in your bone is this other stuff. I think that is where they get this yam cream. It has to do with the osteoporosis. But really, when you think about osteoporosis, is look at how much you are being drained. It's taken from your bone now. Or just certain DNA, certain people's structure that that's where it would take from first because there are some people who say oh my hair is not gray at all but i i would imagine that, that there's some other things because there's no minerals in our food like we all have some kind of mineral shortage we all have some kind of issues and then to me it has so much to do with like the signs of aging because now i see it as aging is fake i don't see how you can go through this and start going backwards when you start taking in these minerals and vitamins and not see that it's fake. And especially right at a time when we are have seen how they just use these fake ass cover story sicknesses that they fucking come up with. And at the same time that they're just, uh, you know, dumping poison on us and stuff. But, you know, oh, no, it's a sickness over here, a sickness over there. And they got so much shit going on right now. Uh, there's, like, uh, I, I don't know if they're starting their, um, if they're starting their uh, alien invasion thing. Because there is, uh, at the Michigan fire, there was people saying that there was lasers shooting out of the sky, shooting out of the sky. So, if they're starting that, because there has been so many fucking... Uh, alien displays up in the sky there's so much been so much sky stuff and so now if they're gonna have it start shooting out and blowing places up because i don't even know what all uh, it got totally blown up but see and then some of this stuff too it's like is some of this stuff like like the good guys are getting rid of some more bad stuff because there's like some weird stuff about whatever went on at that uh, the stuff that was in that place or something that i had heard so, I don't know. Uh, to me, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, Facebook, like, I can't believe how much the Facebook, uh, Instagram, and I, I don't know all of that, that stuff. Uh, oh, my gosh. So many people talking about it, talking about it, and talking about it. So, that has people all in their panties in a bunch. So many people are now talking about the guy up in the sky. And... So many people are saying he, because the one video, this freaked me out because um, they keep, the, the guy is going out and getting this video and went and bought this new camera and everything. And other people have seen this space up there. And so um, there was somebody doing a video. So it has the one guy's video behind him. And so there's this like, it's just this guy's head and this video behind him of the other head the one up in the, by the moon. And so while you're watching the video, you see this guy's face. So I keep looking at the, the creature's face, not the person doing the video. I keep looking at the guy in the sky's face. His fucking eyes moved. He, he is fucking, and they said he is looking down and he's looking around and stuff. And then I, I just saw this other guy doing like, like, these are the watchers. And they were, and he was talking all about the, um, how he was, he was being shown like this, you know, the, the size, like, and it, this is the weird thing is I was being shown that same thing today because I was kept being shown like 
every you're small up against something big and you're big up against something small and this movie even came on this old sean connery movie and it was um i don't even know what it was i was about to turn it off but all of a sudden all these little people came out and they were harassing the us size people and I was like, oh, see, everybody freaks about the giants, but we're giants to these people. We're all like these different, we're all like those different sizes to each other. And uh, so anyways, I've been thinking about that. And then this guy does this video and he's saying that that is something that was on, he was seeing today and it was really sticking out to him. And that this, these, uh, that these giant beings are watching us and they're up in the sky and we shouldn't be scared and stuff. Just like when we pick up an ant and, uh, well, I mean, some people, you better be scared if they pick up. <laughs> There's a lot of mean people out there. There's just a lot of people, uh, I don't know. Souls are at all different levels. Even today I was sitting there thinking, you know, an old soul is a soul that has known that has been around for a while. So it's like it realizes that. And then uh, like a new soul is one that's just figuring it out. But that doesn't mean it's never figured it out before. But it's like newly just figuring it out. It's just now figuring it out. And so, you know, that is, um, I don't know. It's a whole process to figure out like your turn. It's a whole new way of looking at life when you see it through your spiritual eyes rather than through the I don't know so through being in the dollhouse like when you see that you are outside of the dollhouse looking into the dollhouse but so many people are in the dollhouse and then they think that that's all there is is the dollhouse and they think anything outside of the dollhouse is some kind of spooky like oh scared it's all scary. And you know, there is all these portals. It seems like these portals are opening up everywhere. And, you know, you have to have a high enough um, vibration to move through the portals. Your vibration is what holds you in places. And you can't move outside of your vibration. And, um, and you know, and that, that's what's going on here is, you know, the vibration is changing. That's what changes the firmament and all that stuff. But, um, and that is what is like this separation. It's like the, the vibration is separating. Like, uh, people who just keep feeding that low energy or low, um, vibration, like toxic behaviors and stuff that, that was, that would be the separation. And, um, but it's all, uh. I don't know. There's there's no right or wrong thing. It's just like this time of change. And um anyways, it seems like there's something else I was gonna talk about. It's just is like making me feel like is this I'm about to just start saying the same thing I just say again. Um uh hold on. Um always be is so um like I, all like her personality is being weird like everything is being really strange like I really feel like there is some kind of a uh some kind of a, a something is happening something is changing uh, or it already has changed or it's in the process of changing but man I swear to god if that giant ass thing really like it is spooky enough just to see its face and then see it move its eyes but if it were and and there's all these people who are going and doing all these like testing on it and trying to figure out and they're all saying that they don't think it's a cgi or a um hologram there's lots of people who think that it's really something up there which i know that there's like everything is something and everything can make itself like 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 we are making ourselves we're all making ourselves and that is why like the higher beings are like they can shapeshift because they have more abilities because they have more awareness of being able to do that so it's more refined skill 
we're just learning about that kind of stuff. Like we're just going to start learning about it. And the, the, um, there's something about the, the firmament and the vibration and the portals. And there's so many portals opening up and, but uh, I don't know, like, like there will be, like, I wonder if that would be like when everything started opening up, if there would be like certain places that people would be able to go that other people wouldn't be able to go like because their vibration wasn't high enough. I don't know. That would be strange, but I guess, I mean, I guess anything's possible. I know everything, uh, I know everything has to do with vibration and how you can move around. And I know like portals are like, it's like a, like a shooting kind of like a vibration, like a, like a hole or something where you can move quick. It's just like when I, I know that that's what I went into when they took me, um, out into that spacing. And I still trips me out how. I went out into that space thing and all I did was shut my eyes and it all of a sudden I was in the black space. I was like, that was so weird. And then how I started looking at the tunnel, but the weird thing, the weirdest thing about when I started looking at the tunnel, how I started feeling like somehow I was disappearing. It was really creepy. And then it reminded me of that lady's thing and that I had pulled myself I shook and pulled myself out of it. It was very creepy. And I wasn't asleep or anything. I had just laid down. I had just laid down and turned and shut my eyes like where you want to get all cozy. And as soon as I shut my eyes, I was it was pure black. And I could see a light way out. And I started thinking, well, that's weird. I, I was thinking how weird it was that it was so black. And I was thinking, it's like I'm in space. And I was thinking, well, what is that light up there? Why is there a light? Why is that light up there? And the more I would focus on thinking about the light, the closer I would get. But the closer I would get, the more I felt like I was like being sucked out of a vacuum or something. And I've come out of my body before. And I've come, not just come out of it accidentally and was up walking around. I've come out of it like stretching and stuff like, I don't know. There's a, there's more of a safeness to feel. <laughs> like there is some kind of like a a parameter or something. There's some sort of parameter, like our own vibration holds us, like holds this image. And that is what I'm saying about like these shapeshifters. They're able to maneuver through that and change their appearance. And I think we're going to be able to start doing that. I, I think we're going to learn how to do that. But anyways, you know, it's all... Um, I don't know. It's all just development and everybody's at all these different stages. I mean, you have these ladies who are just now trying to embrace themselves getting older and it's just, it's so wacky when you tell them like it is a mineral deficiency. And it's like, you're trying to put down their hair's not pretty enough. And I'm just, you know, like I hate myself and I hate my gray hair and I'm desperately trying to change it or something. It's like, no, it's not what I'm saying. How many times you got to say this? It's like, Jesus Christ. Um, and I don't know if I already said this or if I said on the other one before I uh, ended that, but it's a week until my appointment, which I'm super excited about. I, I am like so excited. I can't even believe it. And I feel, I feel real positive because I feel like the universe is bringing this into alignment. So I feel positive. Like when, when they put things into alignment, then things go easier and smoother. And so I'm feeling hopeful, you know, we'll see how it goes. And, um, I haven't heard anything, you know, yet. I haven't been approached anything by any sheriffs or anything telling me I have to leave my house. So who knows what, who knows what's next? Um, I just feel like everything is, it's all like on the verge of falling apart. There's like so many weird things going on. Like I said, this weird Michigan fire thing the um there is like there's just so many weird things just so many and so many horrific crimes so many people just like i got so many people killing their kids man oh my god 
there's a lot of bad stuff. Um, and, you know, we'll just see how there's going to be, um, I don't know. Because, like, like, I've seen those executive orders. If you do something that hurt a kid, it's already in the thing. And it's not just these other people. This is, like, all the people. It's, like, the death penalty. There's no fucking around. So, man, I don't, a lot of these people, I got... I don't, I don't think, I think it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, like holding these people in a prison, I don't know, it's just, there's, like, things are going to be changing more to a soul, what makes sense for the soul, I think, it's not going to be so much on these like, there's going to be so much breaking down paradigms in our thought patterns and how we look at things. But I think there's going to be a lot of breakdown about how we have done things and how man's law has been in charge and stuff. And, like, I don't know. I don't know if it would be like, you know, you're just a criminal. You just, you can't be in the new vibration, for one thing. We're still in the movement so that we still have these people. But I don't know because it's not going to be able to be. I don't know if it's going to be they're all going to be leaving because of, you know, firing squad. Like, I don't know. It, it's going to be, like, there's a lot of stuff. That, man, like, I don't know. Like, because these, these, it's like certain people are not going to be up there. It's going to be safe for kids to walk around. There's not going to be people who do things like those people are all going to be gone. And if that is really in someone's heart, if it's really who they are, they won't go forward. And this won't be possible. And this, you know, this is, I think, kind of like why people get to see what's in their heart. You get opportunity to heal what's in your heart and not because there's a lot of stuff that doesn't go forward. You know, hatefulness, bitterness. I keep trying to express and express and express, you know, how the, the important it is to heal and forgiveness. Like, I don't know how you can claim you're healed if you haven't had forgiveness. And there's so many people who just, you know, think that's a gift to their perpetrator or the villain in their life, the monster. They think, like, how, no fucking way am I going to give forgiveness? It's like the forgiveness isn't for them. The forgiveness is for you. The forgiveness, but in, in the process of you releasing the pain of what happened to you and, you know, using forgiveness to just let it go, to see that person is, you know, their own injured person, you know, not just the villain. Like there's a whole different bunch of different ways you can look at it. You can go at it for the, the spiritual perspective of understanding that you're just here playing roles and that there's more to it and you can look at it through that like there's different steps that you can look at but there's there is more other ways to look at it than how people have looked at it or how they currently look at it and so it is a, a broadening opening to opening your mind to see things bigger or broader to see it in more ways than one and so, anyways, that is, um, that is, uh, uh, like a part of it, even though I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just peter out of that one. And, uh, okay, let's see what else, what else we got here. Um, so, you know, no matter what goes on in people's lives, you got to remember Everything is temporary. All this stuff that is going on is temporary. Here comes another helicopter. Every day there's been a helicopter. It's sunny out, but um, it's fucking cold as shit. I had to open my car was frozen, but um, no, I don't know what the hell. It keeps being the sub leak in my car, so like a little lake in my car. I have to suck the water out. I had to even order some little vacuum whatever their little water sucker vacuum thing can't think what they're called but um 
I had to get one of those. And then I had got it all dried, cleaned and stuff. And I thought, okay, I can't figure out where the water's coming from. So anyways, it's not just a little lake right now. It's ice cube. And it is, uh, because it's so wet inside, it is making my car mildew inside. Even though I've put baking soda in there. It's like, oh my gosh, this whole thing is just so frustrating. I can't wait until things start changing. And, um, and I don't know how long it will take before like the weather will change because it will change. It'll go and change. And I think it's going to go to where it's more like tropical. I think mostly I think where, how we're going to live more. Like there could be some places that are pretty far from the water or something, but I don't think there's going to be, I think it's going to be like we're living in spring and summer all the time. Like, I don't think it's going to be, but I don't think it's going to be really, like, they were creating a lot of extreme weather. Like, they were extreme, creating this extreme stuff. And so, it's kind of like, you got it going crazy, but now it's got to re-regulate itself. And so, in this, like, process of spinning out and stuff, then it will go back to re-regulating itself. And then we're going to have, like, different weather because that's just a part of how it changes. And there's going to be so many places that are going to be like near water. There's going to be a lot of water. There's going to be a lot of water. And then there's going to be all everything opening up for us to be able to travel beyond the ice wall. Like I think that the ice wall is either going to melt or maybe it's just frozen in our reality. And so as our reality melts and falls apart, then we start seeing what's really there and it's some beautiful, magical, otherworldly place. That's what's around us is a lot of beautiful, magical, world, otherworldly places. But you have to be of a higher vibration to be able to move around and go through to get to them. Because that's what it was is because there's so many people here in this realm who can't accept like the other beings. They can't give respect to other beings. They don't give respect to a lot of things that are about life and living they don't understand but i think there's going to be this period of awakening and stuff to go through that to like a preparation or whatever because um it, like how would you be able to go and travel through portals and go to other realms when you can't even accept your own how are you going to go to other places where people are all like weird looking or you know like live differently and stuff i mean well, you have to be more accepting of people's differences. And that is like where we're having this breakdown in biases. And that is like what I say about all the, you know, people have all these biases and they don't realize they have these biases. But all this stuff happening is bringing them to the surface. So everything is being pushed up to the surface and everything's being exposed. And, you know, we're seeing the, the truth about things. But you can hear that helicopter still going around out there. But the um, uh, but that is where the universal action comes in. That's where the universe does this, like this this um, um this whipping around uh, like it's a mirror in front of you. But it's kind of trippy because it's kind of like if you think of yourself as like a yin and a yang. How a lot of people have their 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 yang or whatever their dark part is really everything's out of balance. Like and there's some people, even if you're even in this situation, there's a lot of people who have like their light, but it, it is kind of dark. Like they're doing, even if they're trying to do nice things for people and be helpful and be loving and all these kinds of things, there's still an attachment an attachment disorder. There's an attachment that turns it into a toxicity. It turns it into a darkness. It turns it into a negativity. It is not a positive thing because there is, um, there, there ends up being issues like of resentment and, uh, grudges and stuff that is associated with it because it, it's not pure and it's not, it's not, um, honest. It's not real because people go and do things that they don't really want to do, which I know that life because Stella makes me do things all the time I don't want to do. And I'm not going to just sit and bitch about it and be her victim. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have that relationship with her. Even though last night she was whining at me. I said, You are ruining our relationship. <laughs> That's so funny. Um I'm sorry, honey. She's laying here all curled up in her little fetal position, holding her little tootsies as tight as she can. Oh, oh. She just wants some rubs. That's what she just loves. She just loves she just scratch and rub. She loves that. And she wears me out, man. It's like, God. She, she is a workout, that's for sure. So, um, okay. Let me think what, what else I was going to say. So, um, I, 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 oh, I got these copper earrings. And um, I, I don't know. I had seen, you know, a lot of stuff where wearing copper is good for like arthritis. Like if you have arthritis and you wear copper bracelets, there's like different things like that. It will help. And so then I had seen something where this girl had made these pretty copper earrings. But then when I went in to go look for hers, then it seemed like, I don't know. One thing that TikTok does is they get products, but then they use the real product ad, but then they sell knockoffs. So I don't know. There's weird stuff on there. So anyways, I ordered some on Amazon anyways from some artists. They're supposed to be made by some artists, but, uh, you know, just like a regular person, like a regular person who started making jewelry and started selling it. And that's what we're going to have a lot more people who are doing things like that. And we got to support them more. But anyways, I, um, I decided to get them and I thought, well, that'd be good because it's like right by my gray hair. It's right by my brain injury. It's by you know, all this healing that it's doing. It's right by my face. <laughs> so it's got to be doing a lot of healing and everything. So I thought that's a good place to have them. Um, but anyways, I do. I swear to God, I do feel like I've only worn them a couple hours because I'm, I haven't worn earrings in so long because I have um, like a metal allergy uh, and weirdly, like these ones are kind of burning, but they're not, I think that's because I haven't worn earrings in so long and it's kind of stretching it. Um, but usually like I could have them in for a little while. My ears start itching and itching. They start swelling. They'll start turning red. They'll start like seeping out like pus or something and they're not doing anything like that. So anyways, I was like, that's another thing too. So if you have gray, you know, you may want to try some copper earrings and because I swear, I think it's making a difference. And also I had gotten that magnesium spray for Stella because she was drinking the copper water. And so I was looking up, how do you get the dog's magnesium? Because I put pills in and she'll go and pull the pill out and throw it. And uh, the, li the lion, no, the turkey tail, the, those are those kind of capsules that dissolve. The magnesium's a hard pill. And so the spray, uh, I got her. Then I saw other people saying that magnesium spray or magnesium cream has better absorbency. And so I had sprayed it on me a few times and super itchy. Like I was like super itchy. Now my, it's in my ear itch too. <laughs> the super itchy. And so then I had seen where it says to spray it on the bottom of your feet. It's not itchy on the bottom of your feet. And it's supposedly on people it absorbs better in there so that's another thing too is i started um besides just my magnesium pill i started doing that spray too on the bottom of my feet i think i'm gonna start doing it each day i just started doing it a couple days ago so i'm um, um but now it's just like when you start really seeing about like all the the minerals and the vitamins and then you see the benefits and stuff the floor is doing something really weird. And there has been so much fucking stuff in my house. Like, so much. Oh, it's been, it has been creepy. Like, ugh. it's the middle of the night. That's when it's the creepiest. <laughs> and there's just noises and stuff. That's fucking creepy. But right now, it's like, oh, man, did I even start that was moving for a second? It's like the ground feels like it's vibrating again. But it's not, like, not. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like a, a current is going through it. Not like vibrating, like, rah, rah, rah. no, it feels like it's like 
a current or something coming up and it's like going through my house. That's weird. And it kind of makes me feel like I have a headache. That's weird. So, uh, who knows? Who fucking knows anymore? I swear to God. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, this big giant's going to sit down and start telling us his story and tell us what we really are. We're just his little toys. <laughs> like, <laughs> we think we're alive. <laughs> I don't know. This is so weird. But, um, it's so weird because we've just been lied to. But there's a lot of stuff, though. That through, even though they told us it wasn't real and all that stuff, that I still went with my internal because these beings were talking to me. And so I still went with what they said. And as as things have played out, yeah, the, the, the stuff I say is real. I'm not just saying it because I'm saying stuff from my own experience. And so, yeah, this other world is real. And there's other beings that are around you. And there's other beings that are always in communication with you. You're never alone. And uh, I don't know. The things that I say uh, to me come from them. Like, fuck, what the hell do I know? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I have to get my information from somewhere. So, anyways, I just... um. It's just stuff that they've been telling me my whole life. And they, I don't know. It's like I can recognize their voices or something. But it's not a voice. It's like an energy. It, it's never been like, well, like when I was really little, it did come across very much like a a voice. Like this voice uh, speaking to me, you know, telling me. But it was never mean or forceful. It was always just um, telling me stuff, you know. And then I've lived my life with this, like, I don't know. When you have somebody who can see things you don't see, that tells you things as you're going, and then you see that that's true and that's real, what they're saying, then, you know, it, it, it makes you see, like, that's real and then you try and tell people and people tell you no you're crazy and it, it was so weird though for so long is because I thought everybody lived that way I thought everybody had all these these beings talking to them and telling them things and it was so confusing when um you know when I would talk to people and they would always be like you know no and didn't believe this and didn't believe that. And I was so confused. I, I swear to God, I would tell people all the time, are you serious? Are you serious? Like you seriously, seriously? Because I would think that but it would be over and over and over, over and over and over. People telling me I was crazy. I was crazy. And aliens weren't real. And Bigfoot wasn't real. And... I, I, I don't know. It's weird. It's really kind of creepy, the world they want to pull you into, really. <laughs> Honestly. It's so limited. It's so... But you do have to think outside the box. You do have to trust. And you have to trust your your internal, you know? I just feel, like, really lucky. I'm like... <laughs> that they started talking to me when I was so little. At an age where they say that that's way too young, that they can't... Um, they can't diagnose you with schizophrenia because I swear to God, that's what they want to do. But now you got so many kids, so many that are saying shit like, uh, there's all sorts of things. Like I just saw this video, of this little boy, he's in the driving with his mom in the car and he goes, yeah, I died yesterday. And she's like, Oh, you did? And he goes, yeah, I died. I died. It might have been his dad he's talking to. He's like, yeah, I died. And then he goes, you died? Well, how'd you die? He goes, well, you know, I just got old. I just got old and then I just died. But it's okay because then I came back here. I just came back and was born to you. And then, um, so there's like, oh, really? So, so now you're just back here with us? And she, he goes, yeah, now you're my mom. You're my new mom. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of trippy because he's like four years old or something. And 
I was like, is he just remembering this? Or is he a walk-in? Like, did the other kid leave and this other guy just stepped in? <laughs> like, it was really kind of strange. But there is um, so much more of uh, um, talking in certain directions and people hearing these certain conversations. Like, there's so much more being talked about with reincarnation. Even though it's, like, new and spooky to people and they just can't imagine it. But... There's so much more of like that kind of thing. And there's a lot of kids. There's a guy on YouTube. I mean, on uh, he might be on YouTube, but he's on TikTok. And he just does these videos of these strange things that kids have said to their parents. And then so whenever he started doing it, then he started having all these other parents start sending video or, uh, messages about things that their kids said. So it just kept building and building and building where he kept doing a lot of these videos but there's a lot of kids. There's a lot of little kids who remember being somebody else and um, stuff, you know. And um, probably because that's what they're supposed to be doing right now. They're supposed to be coming in. It's like uh, singing from the heavens or bringing in the messages. Like to remind you, you know, you are more than what they are letting you think you are. You're so much more. Like... Like today, I did this video because that was, um, because I really, I don't want to be la uh, labeled under years anymore. I even saw this video where, uh, somebody was talking about their, their, the earth cycles and stuff. Like there's this whole cycle thing going on with all these planets and they're, they're this is their cycles. And that is why I keep saying, like, why would we be aging ourselves on a, something of a different cycle? It's not even our cycle. And we're just ha hanging our hats on this cycle. Oh, well, I'm attached to this cycle now. It's so much a part of their programming. And it's a part of their plan. And so, yeah, I don't want to fucking... Because it, it's honestly, really, I, I feel like I am more of a 62 billion years old. I'm nowhere near 62 years old. 62 years. This is all I got. This is it. No, I'm I'm in the billions. <laughs> like, like, I've been around a while. And... um. So I, I, I just think it's absurd to even think about that anymore of like in that kind of way. And now to me, it's like, you know, in that, in that like range, I would say, you know, I've experienced this many cycles here. Like I've seen this many, but like, there's so many different things and it all has to do with even like the, the period of time that you're there having the experience and how many things are new and grow and develop in there how many things you experience how many things like were war and death like all those different experiences that happen in those different blocks of time so it's more like how many blocks of time how many experiences did you come in and endure how many things did you come in and learn and grow from it has nothing to do with that other that that period of time is the circulation of time so that you can come in and drop in and have the experience. But it, that time has nothing to do with your age. And, and it just, it all, it goes with their, their programming of aging. They had to have a cover story, you know, they're starving us and we all just were, and, and you know, what's curious too, is I really wonder about this. Cause you know, like I watch a lot of old movies and there's a lot of those old black and white movies where people look really young and then I start thinking well so when was it when did they start really attacking us with things to make us age or make us sicker and then I thought did they even start more with like because there was so much about glamour and movie stars and stuff and everybody was like oh like it was really a, a hook it was a lure and a hook it really got a lot of people and so if I, 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 for some reason I've just had Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, um, I, I, cause I've watched some of their movies lately, but, uh, when, uh, thinking about them and their aging and stuff. And I was thinking, man, would those people have purposely done something like, a, a, a some kind of a 
chemical assault on the first ones so that they could start aging them. Just like how they all of a sudden, you know, that everybody's smoking and smoking and smoking and all of a sudden, oh no, it causes cancer. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Like, I am not shitting you. You used to be everywhere you went. Like you'd be standing there talking to somebody and you also may be smoking in your face. Everybody smoked everywhere. It was just people smoked everywhere. And it just went from that to boom. And think about how much they used bullying to get people to stop. Making fun of people, telling people they're dirty, they're gross, they stink. Just a lot of mean shit. And, um, but it was all, you know, I, I swear to God, I think it was all because uh, it would help. Like, there's no coincidence that in this time of sickness that people who were smoking weren't getting this stuff. Like, it, you just got to put together all the pieces. And so there's something and if it was that they were always going to attack us with this that this you know that stuff that starts with a v and it has an nm in it so if it was with that and they it was planned and so that they had to you know get that buffer out so that nobody would have it but if they were something in that time when they took some of those famous actresses and did something to make them start having to age and so that you know then people start being like oh well you know you're getting older you're getting older and start pushing that like there had to be somewhere in there where they started pushing it and it started you know whatever the depletion was like it seems apparently like they knew that copper should be in our pipes and then they started taking out copper pipes or making copper too expensive to put in your house pipes or something or or it was uh, the when they started doing all this in, in control of our water because then you gotta think like it when uh, at first people didn't even have uh plumbing in their houses so then when they started putting plumbing into their houses then and then they started putting pressure on them they took a guy's house away because he wouldn't go onto their water systems and shit so they they put pressure on people to make them go on to their water treatment and shit like that get on city water city sewer but in the city water if there was some sort of chemical that was uh, causing a reaction with the copper too because i think that's quite possible so something with that but somewhere in there they started taking the minerals they started uh, I, I bet you i think that they knew i don't think that it happened and then they saw that we were getting sick I think that they knew that that was going to happen. They purposely were making us sick. And they purposely came up with a cover story and told us that we were getting older, that that's just what happens. You're born, you're young, and then you get old, and then you die. But that was all a lie. That was all a lie. I mean, they were getting people to, to die themselves, to just will themselves to die, to die out of sickness, out of depletion, out of not taking care of themselves mineral depletion is like you fade away and so they started creating that and then and then coming over the cover story so that we would all believe it and then we would all like i don't know because it's so much about the dread of aging and then when you even think about like how much they try and tell us like our, most of our lives is lived as an old person like, and we were just going with it. We were just going on with it. So anyways, yeah, I don't think so anymore. I think that we reach a point of adulthood. And once we reach a point of adulthood, we we just stay there. Just like the other animals. We just stay an adult. We just stay an adult. And then maybe, you know, like when we're really, really old and we've gone through a lot of shit. And especially if we haven't taken care of ourselves, then you're going to be weathered. You're going to have signs that you've been here a while but this whole process and this concept of these certain things happen to you that's all due to our environment change your environment change your lifestyle everything changes and that is one thing too is i just don't think enough people really understand it's a it's an overhaul of your lifestyle like you have to really change your lifestyle in order to start really um like aging backwards, like start filling in all of the, 
the um, minerals and the vitamins and stuff, but I don't think that people realize how important it is to detox and get the chemicals out of their lives. That's a whole lifestyle change to start living with the awareness of those chemicals are really causing the sickness. They're making you age. They're making you die. They're giving you cancer. They're all that stuff. And so then you have to do a complete overhaul in your life. So yeah, you, but then there's a benefit because once you do it, then you start reversing aging. And then it's like some of these people, it's like that they just want to stay old. They just want to stay old. Okay. <laughs> Go on, go on with your bad self. <laughs> stay as old as you want to stay. <laughs> I prefer to feel better. I prefer, I prefer to feel young. I prefer to feel young and vibrant. <laughs> That's my choice. But you do you. Like, you know, everybody's got to do themselves. And, um, and it's just going to be a wild ride. Because we're going to see so many people's perspectives change as all this stuff plays out. Like, I think there's going to be a big overhaul on the people who are aging, you know, who are, who are grasping on to their beautiful aging and they're going to start being low blood. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Let go of this aging thing. <laughs> Moving towards, I, I think it is, um, it's the, what was it? It keeps coming into my head. Growing younger. <laughs> We're growing younger together. We're no longer growing older together. We're growing younger together. So, and that's a, you know, that is a, an overhaul and you know and a lot of people too they they rely on medications and stuff to make them they think that they need the medication and there's all sorts of things about uh, natural stuff and the natural stuff gets your body to fix itself the medication keeps you in a broken state the uh, natural will go in and help you to fix whatever's messed up so if it, it has a a uh, real way of fixing itself. What was this one? Because this one was pretty trippy. Because I had just heard. It was. Oh. Oh yeah. Because it was that lady. That Barbara Beverly. Or whatever her name is. And she was talking about. Uh, this kid. Had. Um, had a blister on his finger. And he was digging in the dirt. And knocked his blister off. And then he got cellulitis. Because he got dirt inside. And it got in his blood. And so they had cellulitis. And this big swollen thing. And so she um, was trying something. And so she wanted to put it in hot water. Cold water. Hot water. Cold water. Hot water. Cold water. And do that a, a few times. And build it up like to three minutes. And and then it would. Um, uh, it was going. Anyways it fixed his finger. And. um doing that but what the hell was I going to say about that because there was a reason there was a reason I was going to say something about that as she has said um because she had said about the cellulitis about the finger and I have no idea I have no idea just went off on that story I have no idea where what I was even talking about. It, but there is also this other weird thing too. That I had seen. Um, a video of. I guess Disney has a new way it's starting. A, a, some new show or something. And you know. I I think that they burned down Cinderella's castle or something. Like I think it was hit with a laser too. Um, but the. um this way that they start the show now, somebody was doing some breakdown on it and then TikTok won't let her video go through. And in her breakdown, she was saying that it is showing this, um, this trans, this transformation, like going from dark to light or something. Like there's a lot of signs in there. Like they know what's going on. They know all this stuff going on. And then it's some of these things too. It's like, I, the the bad people aren't in charge anymore so some of this stuff is to enlighten us to get us to see things and think things and I think there's a lot of that going on and I, like even that Michigan fire thing as I was when I heard about some of the stuff that was in the building or something then I was like huh it seems like that could be because uh, there was something about, uh, I think, W-E-A-P-O-Ns and some stuff. There was some some weird stuff. 
And I was like, that seems kind of like the good guy is blowing up something that the bad guys were going to use or something. I don't know. But so there, there could be some of that going on too. I don't know. We just got to see, like, things are going to just keep playing out. And, um, it, but it does seem like it's, it's going faster and it's getting more intense. And there does seem to be like this, like our, our reality is like shaken or something. Like, like things are strange. Like, man, I don't, I like this one woman, she, um, her, she had her, her cat was sitting at the door. And so she walked over there and she has a black cat. And then outside was two other black cats that came up and were sitting at the door across from the cat, just sitting there. And they all looked the same. And she's like, did this cat summon these cats? Like what's going on? And it, it, there's like weird stuff like that. Just like a lot of weird stuff. And so that's what I mean. It's like these weird uh, like lots of people are having all sorts of synchronicities. And so there's a lot of things like waking up into people and seeing, and it's like this certain time, a certain, a certain time that things were going to start happening. Maybe is uh, to get people like, because people are locking in on their biases. They're really digging in deep and showing themselves. But then there's, um, when the things turn and they have to see themselves, but the, um, man, I keep going blank on some of this stuff. It's weird. I guess if it's going blank, I'm not supposed to say anything about it or I don't, that's not what I'm supposed to talk about or something. I don't know. Because it keeps just going like, phew. it's weird. Um, so I don't know. I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> Um, okay, let me think if there was, uh, I just keep thinking about, well, just, there's just like a lot of weird stuff, man. And people sharing these, uh, there's like all these news reports, there's like kids going missing, kids being, uh, it's just bad. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't think if there was, it, it keeps being, as soon as I finish, then, I'll remember stuff. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I was going to talk about that. I was going to talk about that. I have no idea what it feels like. I feel uh, like I keep going blank or something. But anyways, all I know is that, I, I, that a lot of people are they're going to start seeing things. They're going to start understanding things more about their health. And that it's more in their hands. And they're going to see more of the problems of turning your health over to these other people. Especially because it's going to become so clear how much they've taken advantage of us. And that they've used us. They've made us sick. And, um, and, and there's just going to be so much more. As the technology comes out and people find out about how much of this technology that they already had. They already, I mean, they were killing people who were coming up with cures for cancer. Like they were just killing them. So, uh, and there's so many people that just don't even know about that stuff. They just have no idea. They just think that really, this is just all we got. This is life. It's like, no, this is very different than what you think. <laughs> it's going to really open up and show itself. And when it does, that is going to be so challenging for so many people yeah, to see themselves and to, to see these things but it's the releasing of these things so you got to see them to release them but it's the release of the stuff it's not like I keep trying to say it's not a punishment it's not to make you feel foolish or stupid or weak or any of that stuff it's like you have carried those burdens those painful ideas about yourself for a long time and this period of time is to release those ideas. And then there's the universe has a certain way of being able to bring them up so they come to the surface. But then everything's going to turn so that you see it. Oh, that's what it was. Is like this, this light and dark that's out of balance. And there's so many people who are so out of balance, so heavy in the dark. It is kind of like this, this whipping around. And it is like 
because there's so much of the darkness in people and this this whipping it's kind of like that is the um the it's the people's like this make this turn that turn it it's kind of like the the the, the, the it all goes together that is what I know. It all goes together. It all fits really together of how things go, why they go, and how they fit together. And it is all this like intricate domino. You know, this causes this, causes this, causes this. But the whole thing is, is it brings us back to where it's something for our best. So all the whole process is going to... um you know, all this stuff is being brought up and the universe is going to swing it around so you see yourself. But that is what is going to force you to find the balance inside of yourself so you don't have so much heavy in the dark. And there's so many people, like I, people are starting to realize this about themselves too. As I, I've seen people do videos and stuff and they don't know, you know, they don't know how to become uh, more balanced. They don't know how to be better for themselves. Like this girl was just talking about like, she goes around to all her friends and everybody just being super independent. She doesn't need anybody. And I could totally relate, totally relate to what she was saying. I don't need anybody. I take care of things. I take care of myself. And, um, but she said, because of that, that people don't ever offer to help. Like it, like uh, being that way pushes back like you set up a guard for yourself and she wishes that she would be able to figure out how to put that down so that she can be more open and be more you know accepting and you know so all the things are all ways to grow and excel everybody has things that they want to find a better balance like all of these different behaviors all are t everything is turned into toxic like we've used it all to a toxic way of our relationships and our behaviors and so that is why yeah we get this great vision of being able to see so that we can make these changes and the changes that we make is what is the creation of all this energy turning into this more positive flow which leads us into this new way of living where people are more kind and loving and deeper and more thoughtful and more mindful and it's just going to be a just a more uh better way the, like the same way that my hair with the minerals is filled in with the vibrancy it's the same thing it's like our life is going to fill in with vibrancy it's going to bring the life back into life because for so long it still is like a huge thing people are miserable they hate being alive. They just want out. It's so sucky. They're just so fucking fed up. And so that is, this is like bringing the life back into life. And so it's to resaturate it with what is important. Resaturate with love and kindness and bringing us back into fulfillment and purpose and feeling good about ourselves. So anyways, that is this whole thing of going full circle, but how everything is related is the, the changes are what is the creation. And, but it's everybody, all the people are doing it and all the people, it's like a wave that goes and comes like this energy moving out across the people. And so it's not just one person, it's not just a chosen, a savior, or any of that. It's all of us together. That is the unity where we all start coming in together into a flow, into a place of peace, into a place where we can feel good and comfortable, where our kids can be safe, where our kids can go out and sing on a stage and not have people snicker and laugh at them. And I, it's just it's so wild how people like think like shame on the parents and stuff like that it's like i really really think that we should have more kids out singing and dancing and do like nobody should be shamed for creating like everybody should be out there creating and and finding that silly side of themselves and you know performing like all my that was something my kids always wanted to do we used to do it when we were kids get your parents to sit down. We're going to do a play for you. We're going to make characters and we're going to set up a stage. Like, 
you know, kid, that like, why would we want to shut that down in kids? Like, where do we want from our society? What direction do we want it to go? Uh, you know, so anyways, I think that's going to be a big change. You know, because I think that, you know, we should have a fucking community should have little talent shows. Get all the goddamn kids out. Get them all on the stage. You have them all get up there and show what they're made of. Get up there, do a little song and dance. Let's have the... I don't know, I would say a burlesque show, but it's probably some kind of associated to some kind of strip club or something. But, you know, like that kind of show where you come out and do a little variety show. You got singers and dancers and, and you know, baton twirlers, <laughs> anything. And you come out and, you know, whatever they want to do. Maybe they want to just recite a poem. But get kids to be find that side of themselves the creative side of themselves, because that's where you find connection. That's where you find purity. That's where you find happiness. So why would we be taking that away from them? Why wouldn't we get everybody to have the the zest, the joy for living? You know, why, why would we want kids to feel humiliated and scared and you're not good enough? You're not good enough. Get off that stage. You're not good enough. Hide. It's like, especially like that little girl, like the way she's just out there belting it. Like she was just loving life in that dress, over the top dress. And she was just proud as can be. Like, why can't we just be so excited for somebody like that? I don't know. I think we'll go to more of that kind of thing in our society. I think, you know, we got to get over our own hurt, our own pain. We got a lot of adults who act like children. And so it's time for them to heal their pain. And, you know, there's just a lot of sad stuff going on to make sure that that pain has an awareness to you. <laughs> so you really see what you're working with. See really what you are, who you are, how you behave. And really go in and question yourself. Like, why? Why do I act like that? Why would I... Why would I be mean to a kid? Why would I think that? Like, no matter what it is that you do, you just have to go in and try and understand yourself. And then once you see that shady side of yourself, you got to accept it. You got to just accept it and, and release it. You know, you got to accept your shadow. You can't make it go away. We all have like a little ooh, part of us, you know, and it doesn't mean you're bad. It doesn't mean you're going to hell. It means that you have got, you know, you've got both hot and cold. Like who wants to go into a bathroom and it's only got cold water and who wants to go into one that only has hot water? You got both. You got to, you got to come up with the combination yourself, you get a good temperature for yourself. And so anyways, while you're working on your temperature, don't forget to love yourself, love everyone and have a loving day. And I'll talk to you later.